Welcome back. It's Operation Pixel time. Time to find us a new town. We need to sell stuff. And some lizard men. These guys aren't too I bad. I want a horde to come by here. <laughs> blast them with my lightning ball. Yeah, that'd be that'd be it's one of those like, things that might be fun to do. To just like it's like burning hand what? Latin and balls where it's at. I was gonna say that'd be one of those things that'd be fun to do is like go back to like Act One. Like I said, we could reimport our characters, right? Mm hmm Start the game over. But just imagine uh, going through those those sewer levels with all the kobolds yeah. with your ball lightning. Oh, that would be so just awesome. Just fry them all. Of course, then we'd also have to go through that trap room. Remember the trap rooms? Oh, geez. like the falling floors. Oh yeah. And the fireballs. Don't remind me. <laughs> what, you didn't enjoy those? Oh, they were fun. I'm <laughs> just like. Uh, and all those times pain. that I basically let you die so that I could jump across. Let me die. I was basically fought up. Oh, yeah, I leveled up. Sweet. I'm almost gonna level up two. No poison gas for me. Cool. Either. I like how many health potions I'm getting. Yep. Now that we're having slightly more decent health potions. Yeah, well, hopefully. Oh, hey, there's a dude Questy there. Questy lizard dude. Uh, okay, well, let's save really quick. Because there's no way this won't go poorly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Peace. Peace. Show no weapons. I have no wish to fight you. I am called Slavos. I place Slavos? All the vines upon the I thought you like Slavos. To herd you here to this island. Ah. Uh, you speak. Kind. Oh, Slavos. Yeah. Huh. No and yes. The words you hear, the words I speak. They are not the same. Oh. There are serpents uh. in the marsh. The Skepka. That when you squeeze from them their venom, weave it into your magics. All you speak is understood by all who hear you. Very it expressive, these guys. Yeah, there's, there's a spell called Tongues, basically. I think is what he's talking about. That basically makes it so that, like, you understand all languages. Well, that might be comprehend languages, but tongues, I think, lets you, like, speak, basically. Have anyone understand you. Uh... So he seems to be some kind of lizard folk druid. Uh... Why, you why did your people attack, attack me? Uh-oh. I live here in the marsh. Alone. A tribe of one. Uh, so an outcast. How do you know I was in the marsh? The marsh spoke of your coming. Yeah, he's totally My a druid. Neighbors, he's a tree hugger. The carrion beetles, the Haskar birds, the rost fish, all told me of you. <laughs> your first the bugs ran by. There's a freaking dwarf in the swamp. Like There's a freaking dwarf. A pond. Uh. Mm -hmm. All right. I have brought you here to ask why you have come to our lands. The Onyx Tower. Is it your god? The Onyx Tower. Blum blum blum. I don't know what. I don't know why I'm thinking this, but it kind of reminds me of uh, the parodies I see of uh, Kirk from Star Trek. I have no idea what you're talking about. Our audience does. Our the massive audience. It glitters like oil upon the water. It arrives in our homeland quick, sudden, and stabs into the heart of the marsh like a poison spear. That would stab All you. the tribes have raised their spears to it. Their hissing has become low and weak, that of slaves. The tower has devoured the hearts of my people. All except slave us. They've Slave all been us. enslaved except for Slavus. 
It's just like, you should maybe think of a uh, less ironic name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, so the tower came to the marsh. How? I do not know. Darkness falls, then rises. Leaves the tower behind like a weapon dropped on a field of battle. Tower smells of fire pits and cities, things not of the marsh. Hmm. Not even moonlight will touch it. For the tower drinks its light. It is a black kiss, a serpent's bite on the land. It's just a mysterious black tower in the swamp. Within the hmm. tower is a spider of doors, bones. It's dead. Sauron. The spider wears the snake skin of a female. A human. She has great power, terrible anger, yet she is bones and hate only, with no blood body. She rose from the marsh after dying beneath its waters. A lich, maybe? Hmm. I don't know, man. She sounds pretty nasty, though. Uh, you say she's a spider of doors? <laughs> a spider of doors. Something I'd think was lost in translation. Probably. It is what she does. She makes onyx doors to dry places far beyond our lands. Ah, to so those are the portals we've been going through. Of your yeah. people. That door in the innards of the human shrine you step from is one of these doors. All right. Let's just skip ahead here. Will strike yeah. the spider within the tower. It's a whole lot of dialogue with this guy. Mm -hmm. Any way that I can, supplies, guidance, these things I may help you with. In the theater. Are you the merchant for this if act? If you wish to reach the tower, you must first go to the tribes of my people. Slave us shall ungrow the walls of vines in your path, clear the way for you. Continue along the snaking trail of mud to the drowned town of humans. Drowned town. Now the great gathering place of the tribes of the marsh. <sighs> Beyond the drowned city is the tower. This guy's very talkative. <laughs> uh... Alright, what else? Once before the great drowning, our land was the land of your people. Now, under the water, many things of your people can be found. Things of steel and magic. <gasps> Slavers cannot use them. Does not need them. Maybe a place where we can sell stuff? Hold on. <laughs> Guard me while I rest? Uh. Alright, let's see what he has. <gasps> we can uh... buy from him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's got full play mail! <laughs> yeah! And it is like 25,000. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm glad I saved up some money. Uh, though I may not be able to carry that much weight. It's 50 pounds. Yep. It is pretty hefty. Mm, pretty full. But, um... Hey, I got an amulet of constitution. Yeah. So you won't die. <laughs> oh, I'll die. I'll find a way to die. Hold on, let's see what else he's got here. Uh, should I get uh, rid of my dexterity? I mean, yeah, probably. Especially as you start shifting, like, like the less you use bows and stuff, the more worthless dexterity becomes. Yeah. And now that you have, like, a pretty good spell that's just gonna be getting better. Honestly, it probably won't matter too much. Uh, but yeah. Constitution. So I think... I was gonna say, it might be a good time to, like... Yeah, you guys, <laughs> let's, uh... Call it an episode. Hold let's on, what's his weapons? Stuff. Does he have... Uh, oh, he does have some axes. Some 24 axes. to 117! Shocking Burst Mithril Battle Axe. <laughs> awesome name. Plus three. Or I could get this adamantine halberd of speed plus three. Hmm. 
Not too big of a difference in uh, damage. Yeah, this one's but... a lot uh, more expensive. I can't even afford this one. Oh, I can't geez. afford this one either. Oh, man. <laughs> I did not realize how much I was going to need the money. We definitely found the new shop. Yep. <laughs> uh, It'll probably be best to get that one. That's almost three times uh, less weight than the adamant adamantine. Yeah, the other problem too is that this one might count as a spear because it's a halberd. Yeah. Whereas this one is clearly a battle axe. Literally a battle axe. Uh, so, so yeah, I think I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some shopping. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have to do some buying and selling and, and maybe some management to see if I can't get myself this axe. Uh, I'm not sure if I can, but I'm gonna try. Uh, and then I'd like to get that armor, but. No promises. <laughs> uh, but we'll come back next time on Operation Pixel with uh, all this sorted out and probably very little money in our pockets. 